The Network Module for Microsoft version 3.0, also referred to as NMM 3.0, provides a SQL DBA with the ability to perform manual backups from the SQL Server Management Studio while transparently leveraging the policies defined within Networker. This is especially useful for SQL DBAs who prefer using native SQL tools for all of their activities. This includes data protection. I will now step through starting the backup from the SQL Server Management Studio. I have launched the SQL Management Studio and you will see that there's an EMC Networker Backup tab. This was loaded when the Networker module for Microsoft 3.0 was installed on the SQL Server. I will simply select the EMC Networker Backup tab in order to start my manual backup. Within the EMC Networker Backup page, there are two views. The first view is General. This is used to define the properties that I want to use during my manual backup. I will step through the options now. You will start by choosing the Networker server. This is the same server that was used during the NMM installation. You can select a different Networker server from the list should there be one available. You can use the update to refresh the list of available Networker servers. You can define the level of debug information to be sent to the backup status window during the backup. The levels will range from 1 to 9, one representing the least amount of information. This brings value when the SQL DBA is trying to troubleshoot a backup. You will now select the SQL Server instance to be backed up. A benefit here is you can select all of the databases in an instance or a particular database that you want to back up from within that instance. By selecting Compression, this will apply XBSA compression to all the marked databases before writing the backup data to the storage target. A checksum is used to detect a partial backup or restore state. The SQL Server verifies the checksum by calculating a local result and comparing it with a stored value. If the values do not match, you can choose to continue the backup or restore operation. Select the Continue on Checksum Error option is used to backup and restore if errors are detected. The Encryption option will use AES encryption. Data is encrypted with the default or current pass phase provided by the Networker server. If the Networker server has a different pass phase during the recovery time, you must specify the pass phase used at the time of the backup. The Networker Administration Guide provides more information on the AES encryption. The NMM software supports the use of multiple stripes for the backup and restore of SQL Server data. Stripes are one or more data streams that may be extracted in parallel from a database and written in parallel to multiple media devices. With NMM, striping can yield a significant performance advantage when a large amount of data is being backup and restored by using multiple media devices. By selecting the Create Striped Backup box, the SQL striping feature will be enabled. By selecting the backup pool, you can choose the pool where the ad hoc backup will be stored. The pools in the menu are configured within the Networker Management Console. Both Avamar and Data Domain are options for deduplication. We will now select Run to start the backup. The second view is a monitor. You will use this view to check the details or the status of the backup. This view is very similar to what you will see in the monitor view that is displayed within the NMM GUI. A pop-up box will appear when the backup is completed. As seen in the demo, NMM makes it very easy for the SQL DBA to run ad hoc backups from the SQL Server Management Studio with no knowledge of Networker. At the same time, Networker is transparently managing the retention policies and ensuring compliance with the business requirements. NMM also supports the standard backup options of SQL, such as stripes and compression. The SQL DBA is now empowered to protect the databases using native tools while adhering to the corporate policies defined within the Networker Management Console.